Ozone Falls State Natural Area. I'm going to see the top of the falls, then we're going to go down to the base of the falls. This is the first stop of two today. This is just right off Highway 70 in uh, the community of Ozone, Tennessee. Right off of uh, I-40, exit uh, 329. Top of the falls is literally like 300 feet off the road, and it's an easy little stroll back here. The trip down to the bottom is a little rocky. Now the first part of the little walk here just goes right along the road. And then you get to the downhill section. Like I said, it's a little bit rockier. So this is what the hike back up looks like. So use your own judgment if you think you want to try it. Now we're back at Highway 70. Ozone Falls is 110 feet. There's a car. That's Highway 68. I'm going to do a section of the Cumberland Trail. We're going to go up to the top of Black Mountain. So if you're doing this section and you're going up to the top of Black Mountain, you do walk right beside the highway for a little while, but I'm finally hitting some blazes here. So it looks like we're probably fixing to start going up. Cumberland Trail. The Cumberland Trail, when complete, is going to go from uh, Cumberland Gap National Park down around Chattanooga. It's going to be about 300 miles. About a mile and a half in, I think it is. And that's a windless cave. But uh, I think we're going to go check it on the way back. And see what goes on there. So elevation wise we're going I think about 1500 feet from the parking lot up to the top. Uh, mileage wise I think it's a little over three miles all the way to the top. There's some cool overlooks up there. So we'll see you with the uh, mileage is when we get to the top. Yeah, it only gets steeper the higher up you get. Alright, what we got here? Looks like a pit. Oh yeah. Nice. Back in my caving days, I'd have definitely wanted to go down this thing. Awesome. All right. All right, so here's the uh, campsite up here. camping here you got a nice view down below 
got a chimney for a fire pit and you'd think people would know that aluminum does not burn come on people oh and just for reference from the parking lot it's a 2.9 to the campsite since we hit the campsite back there it's been flat all the way but I do know that we'll have one more little up anyway and it should be coming up pretty soon and then we're gonna get us some cool views so this means we're just about at the top the campsite was uh, about a quarter mile back this is cool how about this huh steps that go up to the top. Awesome. Of course that's where we just came from. The rest of this is a loop trail. Come on the trail continues on the other side of the loop. Right up here is the uh, parking place if you want to start at the top. Yes you can come straight to the top. With the overlooks all right overlook let's go check it out yeah this overlook is really nice uh, Angie and I have been here before came here about two years ago and uh, hiked the loop up here could uh, just jump from here to here huh yeah no we didn't uh, jump across all right over is where we just was so no we didn't we didn't do that all right dig it walk three miles up the side of a mountain this is what the reward looks like well there was a rain chance uh, about one o'clock about 40 percent and I uh, just checked the weather and it's down to about 25 percent I'm gonna sit here and have some lunch and uh, go check out another overlook all right so we're close to the trailhead now and there's the old chimney from my house there's a uh, spring house, trailheads that way, and then this right here is a little kiosk that just shows you what you're about to do. And so here's the trailhead up top. Quite a bit of parking early, but uh, nobody here right now except us. Alright, so the we're on the back side of the loop now. We'll be coming up on another overlook here soon. All right. It's an overlook. It's not as stellar as the one on the other side, but still pretty cool. Still have a lot of uh, nice granite. Here we are back at the Cumberland Trail. That's where we go down the stairs. There you go. Once you get an area view of all those monoliths that we walked by when we came up this thing. That's some awesome rocks. Alright, so for right now, we got uh, 4.56. Um, I know we got from here 
uh, just a little over three miles. Plus, we'll probably go to the cave, so we'll probably get another uh, three and a half maybe miles in. So that'd be a be a good day. That'd be a, a be about an eight mile day, I think, by the time we get done. This is just so amazing. I love walking through this stuff. It's all downhill from here. Campsite. Cumberland Trail. When we were uh, coming up the hill, we pretty much had the view behind us. So on the way back down, we get to enjoy this view the whole way. All right, here's where we start the, the serious downhill. Got to have these switchbacks. There that crooked tree right there. Thing ain't got no hide left on it. Got some woodpecker holes right up there. Check that out, huh? For all you uh, mushroom and fungus people. Dig it. A while ago, just before I turned the camera on, there was a turkey flew through the woods. It was pretty neat. I wish I'd have had the camera rolling for some reason at that time. But uh, that's one turkey who survived Thanksgiving. We're at the junction of the cave here, so we got plenty of time. Let's go see what this cave's all about. All right, so here's a windless cave. Just a very short little walk. Definitely got water coming through it, so uh, if you're hiking the CT and you need some water, uh, windless cave might be a good place to get some. Here's the entrance. This is as far as we're going. We've got a warning here. Cave is closed. White nose syndrome concern. Uh, there's a disease that some of the bats have been getting. And uh, I forget all the details of it, but basically they can't hibernate and they stay awake and then uh, through the winter they they just don't have anything to eat so they wind up dying and so they want people to stay out of this cave because if you go in and there's the uh, white nose syndrome disease in there you could uh, get it on the bottom of your boots bring it out go into another cave that's not got it and then make all those bats sick so uh, if you ever go to a cave and you see one of these signs, do not go in the cave. Yeah, so, uh, if you're hiking that trail, definitely stop by and see the cave. Just don't go in it. All right, so, the cave's right down there. It's literally only a tenth of a mile off the main trail. So go check it out. All right, so that's the mountain that we just came down. And grass cove over there. Got a great day for a walk. Haven't seen any wildlife really. Saw a 
chipmunk. And I saw that turkey that went flying. Other than that, nothing. No deer, no other squirrels, no nothing. I prefer uphill to downhill, but uh, this downhill has been really nice because I've had that view. When I was going up, my back was kind of to it, so I didn't get to watch it as much. This, uh, this trail here has been on my bucket list for a long time, so it's nice to come out here and do it. But uh, it'll be really nice when they get it completed, fill in all the gaps, and uh, somebody could actually through hike all the way from Cumberland Gap down to Chattanooga. That'll be a nice walk. I do know there's a lot of beautiful sections because I've been on some of them already and even helped uh, build and maintain some. So this is a uh, beautiful trail. All right. I remember that earlier. So there's uh, Highway 68 through the trees. All right, so we're at 7.89, 7.9. There's the car, so we need another tenth of a mile, so we're gonna walk up to that uh, little kiosk right there for the other part of the trail. We're going to get uh, eight miles in. Very good. 215. Car's coming. Jog across the road. Go to the car. So there's you a couple of things to do if you're in the uh, grassy cove, uh, crab orchard area, looking for something. So uh, come in here and do that hike. And uh, of course you can start at the very top. You can drive to the top of uh, Black Mountain, walk the loop and do some of the cool stuff up there. See you on the next one. Thumbs up, if you liked it, comment, all that good stuff. You know how it goes. See you on the next one, later.